Bury me in Iraq. So these were the words of 28-year-old William Andrew Jeffries as he lay dying of typhoon fever surrounded by his loved ones. So William was so horrified of being buried underground. And it did not help that he had hallucinations from the typhoon fever that kind of like escalated those weary. So he kept telling his family, I do not want to be buried underground. I do not want to want to be buried underground. I want to be buried in Iraq. So, so happened his family had a lot of land and on that land was these large boulder rocks. So he requested to be buried in one of those. Now, William, you know, he was pr pretty young, 28, but he had done so much with his life already. He was a lawyer and actually started into the North Carolina State Senate. He was a senator, um, which he actually started that role in 1844. So now only a year later in 1845, he was dead. So his heart family was super heartbroken. His father was so heartbroken that he wanted to make sure that his son received and, you know, his dying wish became true. So he went to a stonemason who was a friend of his son, William, and asked him if this could be done, if he could actually bury his son in a rock. So this stonemason was no ordinary stonemason. He had already done extraordinary work working on the North Carolina State Capitol building. So he, this stonemason said, yes, I can definitely do it. So the stonemason began chiseling the rock that would soon be William's tomb. So two years passed, one waiting on materials. The second year was waiting on a replacement marble slab that had came in the first time, but it came in broken into pieces. So while the family waited for the vault to be complete or the tomb to be complete, William's body lay in a vault and there were rumors spreading around. So people thought instead of him being in a vault, he was actually in a barrel. And in that barrel was brandy filled up to cover his head. And it, the barrel was actually placed in a local river so that his body would stay fresh. And the rumors gets worse because it actually said that people thought that once William's body was removed, the remaining brandy in the barrel was drunk by people. So this is completely false. This is completely a rumor. So do not believe this at all. So William was actually sitting in a vault and waiting for that tomb to be created. So the rock was chiseled, making a place for William's coffin. A marble slab with an inscription sealed the tomb. And decades later, William Andrew Jeffrey's body remains buried in a 20-foot around, 10-foot tall rock where you must use a ladder to use or see the marble slab on his family's land. So it's been a lot of curious on seekers who have heard about the tomb over the years and they visit the site. A lot of them don't res um, don't respect the, the tomb. So there have been cases of vandalism over the years. And now the marble slab over the tomb is actually shattered. They had placed a historic sign out there that was 200 yards away from the tomb, but it was moved in 2015 due to so many people going to see the tomb, the, the sign basically was an attraction. So people would stop and go see the tomb and not all people would be honest and, or um, show dignity while visiting the grave. So hence the removal of the sign. So it would kind of deter people from going to visit the tomb. So one person back in like the 1930s, 40s or 50s actually went to prison because he stole a truck and he because he just had to see the tomb. He had to see the tomb with his own eyes. And I think to him, it was probably worth going to prison because he wanted to see who actually would be buried in a tomb uh, made of rock. So if you wish to visit the tomb, it, it is in Franklin County, North Carolina, but it is on private property. So I would definitely make sure you talk to the homeowners um, to make sure it's okay for you to visit the property. But if you do like this video and would like to see more videos like this one or anything in history, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Also like this video and I have so many more videos coming up soon. So you'll be um, notified of those videos if you go ahead and hit that bell and you'll be receiving alerts. So thank you again for watching my channel in the heart of history.